Alright, good morning everyone. So today's video's orientation a bit different because um, we are focusing on the legs and I have no idea how else to show it to you except if I can um, do it in this manner where you can see the legs a little bit clearer, right? So um, really from um, the head down towards the back and then now towards the legs uh, of the stretch. So I don't do it in like separate mornings, I just do it all in one morning but I just show it to you in separate mornings because uh, at least you have a sensing and then you can build up from there as well like how um, the stretches kind of like work. <coughs> so um, I mentioned to you that typically in the morning when I start I have my legs crossed right? Yeah so however that you prefer to cross your legs. So from this crossing our legs position basically I just bring my legs such that both my feet get to meet in this manner and then from here depending again on your comfort level not everyone can, can do it some of us when we do it this way our our legs tend to be up a little bit and that's fine right as long as you get a chance to try this out right so what you will notice is that yesterday I mentioned that um, with the with with the the, the last sec sec section or the last part of that uh, exercise yesterday when you lean forward uh, we start to move down and start to kind of like uh, exercise the buttocks a little bit so with this particular one it's also similar where it will be this way and then uh, it can kind of like help to stretch the, uh, the, 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 the thigh muscles as well as the buttock area a bit right. so if you can then you can go down as much as you can right and depending on wherever you are Right, so some of us might be a bit uncomfortable if we put our feet together and it can be like that. It can also be nearer to you if you are comfortable. And then in this manner, just sit upright. Okay, so you can feel the back. So both your hands can either be here or can be on your ankles. I, I feel very comfortable with it on my ankles. I feel safe when I have my, my, my palms on my ankles in this manner. And then at some point when I'm feeling comfortable sitting like that, I might want to just stretch a little bit more. So I lean, I start to lean forward. And only as far as you can. So you don't have to overstretch or overdo anything. So from my ankles, sometimes I will shift my hands towards my toes just to give me some support perhaps. And then I just lean as much as I can forward. So for some of us, we can use our hands as a gauge, right? So like this, and then I slowly lean forward, my elbows kind of start to drop. And then when it drops down, perhaps down towards my calf, I can hold it here for a while, whichever is comfortable for me, or I can go lower if I want to. So again, there's no hard and fast rule for this, please don't think that Oh, I must push myself down, I must stretch until a certain level, or I must do something. Uh, but really, it's just being able to uh, notice how it's feeling. So at this point, uh, what you might sense is like the tension on your buttock area, or even on your thighs. And not on the outside of the thighs, but really on the inner thighs. Right? Uh, and it just feels... Well, for me, it feels good when I, I notice that I feel a certain level of tension or a certain level of stretch um, to know that, hey, you know, my body is kind of like waking up and then I release to come back to neutral. And again, remembering that uh, for all of these activities or exercises, it's really to come back to neutral so that your body gets a sense that, you know, after a stretch, it, it gets a chance to relax a little bit. And then you can stretch again if you want to, right? And for those of us who might be wanting to practice sit and reach, right? These are, to me, really good exercises to practice sit and reach. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I I do in my previous work is I was actually like a part-time NAFA tester. And the station that I was kind of like in charge of um, is actually sit and reach. One of the sta this, are, this is one of the stations that most people don't quite do well in. Uh, simply because, oh, I'm not flexible, I'm not what. So, um, for sit and reach, really, it's not like when it comes closer to NAFA test, then you practice. Right? You should actually start practicing all the way before. 
So even if you're not doing pregnant path test, this is a really good um, exercise for me. Uh, so again, whether you want to do it like two to three times or just leaning forward, and then as far as you can. For some people who are really flexible, they can go all the way down and place their forehead on the mat or on the on the bed. But I'm not that flexible yet, and that's perfectly okay um, to, to, to do however. Right. So once I'm done with this, because I'm already in this position, uh, it's just straightforward to me to actually then do the next one, which is to then stretch out either my left or my, my right leg. So for me, typically, I would stretch out my left leg, and then bring my right foot towards the inner thigh of the left leg. And then with my hands, I can slowly from my left thigh, just gently reach out towards my left ankle. Okay, and then from my left ankle, if I can, then I move slowly up to reach my toes. And if I can't, wherever you are is perfectly fine, right? So it could be that for some of us, it could be just here. Some of us, it could be further down. Some of us could be until the knee only, and that's fine. Yeah, wherever it is, it's really the intention of being able to say, hey, can I start noticing the sensations in my body? And in this case, for this particular exercise, it's towards my leg, right? And my, my, my toes. Right? So after that, come back to neutral. And then that's where I change legs. And then same thing from the thigh. Just slowly slide down towards wherever you're comfortable. Right? Whether it is the ankles, or the calf, or the knee itself even. And then after that, towards the toes if you can. So I didn't achieve this like overnight lah, huh? Yeah, so it takes time. So if I don't do this for a while, I realize that my muscles tend to be a bit more tense or a bit more tight. And then what I do is then wherever I feel comfortable, I just stretch until there lah. Right? So back to neutral. And usually if I'm like working on one leg, I just stay on one leg lah. Yeah, so minimize movement, right? So early in the morning, lazy, don't want to move so much. So that's kind of like what I do. And then uh, from here, then I go down again, uh, to wherever I'm comfortable. And then if I can, stretch a little bit more. And if, can, if I can, stretch a little bit more. So you'll notice, right, my leg, uh, depending again, right? So for me, I'm comfortable having it flexed like that. So if you're not, you can also have it outwards like that. And that's perfectly okay. Right, so however you want to flex your foot. Right. So then... So actually with this particular uh, exercise for this one, I feel the tension a little bit more on my inner thigh and then as well as my calf. Right. And I think I feel it all more on my calf because I flex my leg like that, my foot like my foot like that. If I flex it the other way, I don't feel it as much on my calf but maybe more on my ankles. So it really depends on where you want to feel or what you want to sense for that day. And then back to neutral. Again, each of these stretch could be one uh, could be two to three times uh, depending on what you're comfortable with right so once i'm done with either way and one leg kind of like bent and the other leg stretch i actually now stretch out both legs so both legs are outstretched sometimes if i feel the tension a lot more i will do this so kind of like this move the legs a little bit to release the tension a bit and then this is the part that you would then really help with sit and reach, right? <laughs> uh, because it's quite similar. So depending on how comfortable you are, for some people they prefer if the legs are open up wider, um, but some people they are okay if it's just... So again, because we are on the bed, uh, so it's limited to how big your bed is. If you're on a queen size bed or a king size bed, of course you can spread your legs wider if you want to. Uh, but if you are on a single bed or super single bed, then perhaps not as wide. Um, but really, from that earlier one where one leg is tucked in, to now both legs tucked out, um, it is then also to then see how we can stretch. So same thing, both hands on your thigh or your knee, and then slowly just reaching out towards your ankles. And usually I use my legs as a gauge, right? 
uh, some people like to use prefer to use the inside like sit and reach like that lah. so it's on the inside but for me it's like this is comfortable uh, for a few reasons um, one is I use my leg as a gauge of where I'm stretching until two I think I just like the sensation of my hands on my on my skin and just noticing the sensations while and the warmth lah. while I am doing the exercise my hands actually transmit the warmth to the different parts of the body um, Right, and then if I can stretch even more, then perhaps I can stretch even more. However, it's comfortable for you. Sometimes when I'm here, I get a bit bored. Uh, then I just wiggle a bit. Yeah, but you don't have to do that. It's just me and I get bored sometimes when I do certain things. Yeah, and then slowly come back up. And then again, you can do this about two to three times, right? So you can stretch out again, whenever you're comfortable. Sometimes I challenge myself a little bit more. If I want to stretch it like the second time, I close my legs, bring my legs closer a little bit more to, to each other. And then I do the same thing of stretching and reaching. And then reaching out as much as I can. And then gently releasing. Again, for these exercises, if you want, you can count on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that kind of thing, right? depending on the count that you want. Yeah, but for me, uh, most of the time now, I don't count. I really listen to my body. If I, my body can stretch a bit longer, then I stretch a bit longer. Lor. If I, it can't, that day is a bit more tired, then uh, I, I stretch however long that it allows me to. So now that we are done with like the stretching of here, uh, now it's then the ankles, right? So what I do is I flex towards me. And even though it's like flexing the ankles, I actually feel it on my calves as well. And then I release. And then I point my toes out. neutral and then I flex my toes towards me so while I'm doing this one of the other things that I pay attention to is not just on my legs or my feet or my ankles it's also on my back so like I try and sit up as straight as possible on my back even though my 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 palms are on my thighs right and then relax and then point outwards point away from you so again this one I typically do maybe two to three times uh, just so that I get a chance to feel the sensations around here as well as on the ankles right. <clears throat> so ankles kind of like done now then the toe so similar to like the hands uh, we can do the hands but then what about the fingers <clears throat> so the toes uh, what I do is I actually clench my toes and then I release and just, just notice like any sensations that might come up when I clench and I release my toes so clench the toes and then release and then clench the toes And then release. If you want, you can wiggle your toes at the end of it just to have some fun. Right. <clears throat> uh, optional that I do if I remember, because sometimes there's just so many exercises I tend to forget. So again, if along the way as you are as you are trying to implement this into your morning routine or into your morning uh, like stretch as you wake up in the morning, if you forget some of it, it's fine. Right, there's no hard and fast. If you mix up and jumble up the sequence, it's also fine. Right, so don't need to like judge yourself that oh no, they don't follow the sequence and everything like that. <clears throat> it's absolutely okay. So it's a lot of trial and error for me, and it's probably going to be trial and error for yourself as well. Right, so if I want to, I can then do ankle rotation as well. So one direction. 
one way or another. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya, get ya, get ya, get ya one way. And then the other way, right? Turn it the other way. Yeah. So sometimes the... <clears throat> so in the morning, I don't sing out loud, typically in bed. Uh, but in my head, sometimes there's like the music playing. Uh, but whichever way works for you. Mm. So... That kind of like ends the the exercise for the legs and then the ankles and then the toes. Right. So hopefully uh, that kind of like rounds up my morning. Uh, as I mentioned a, in a previous video that I, there's another way to stretch your back which I'll show you in a separate video which I will do for the next video. Right. Okay, so for today's session, that's all I have for you. Hopefully you enjoy it and you can practice it.